I decided to come into town today to do a little shopping and of course every time we come to town we got to make our favorite stop at Black River. I'm going to go check out the mouth of the river on Lake Superior and see if we can't find any agates in this beautiful weather. You know, this is the best time of year for us to go because when the good weather hits, agate hunters all over the place. This is the time of year to get the good stuff before anybody else does. Hopefully we find some. Well, we made it to the river. Heading to the beach right now. Not even little waves on the lake. We couldn't have picked a better day. And, uh, sorry about the stop there. Wifey was picking up a rock. Nothing. Nothing good. Little piece of jasper. Which is everywhere around here. We have walls of this stuff. Usually we like to hunt this little bay here. But this time of year, there's a bunch of leaf debris and everything else that covers up all the rocks. And we'll see what we can find in a bit. Well, we made it to the beach. And look at how calm it is. It's like glass. Only thing I'm not liking, oh, I see rocks down there, was the ice coming off. But we got rocks further down, I can see. We were a little nervous with this ice flow coming in, but looks like we'll have some luck. All right, I got something right there. We could have some potential to it. And it's got a little window there, hard to tell right away, but yeah, I'm thinking that could be Oh, wait. Yep, folks, we have an agate. Really nice size one, too. Not a bad start. And then a little piece of rhyolite here that I was going to take a look at. Sometimes those hold some small agates inside. We shall find out. First find of the day. Give me that one. And away we got a euperlite. And a nice piece of euconite we're going to keep. So far, pretty good. And what do I have right here? That one deserves some inspecting too. I don't know why my phone has a hard time focusing. Ooh. Well. My wife, we definitely found something here. Carnelian for sure. And it's getting some color, and that could be agate. -y. Oh, that's definitely rhyolite, and there's some agate in that rhyolite too. Oh, again, the luck of the Irish. The damn wife is getting them all good stuff. Well, so far, so good. We're getting pretty lucky here, folks. Yeah, I'm thinking that's granite. Yeah, that's granite. Let's see what we can see. The way he found a funky piece of basalt with different colored eyes in it. That is sort of unique. Don't know what we do with it, but. Yep, it's definitely unique. No, 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 there's... Oh, yeah, that's an aggie. I can see some water line in that. We don't have water with us to clean. This was just sort of a quick stop when we came to town. But, uh, pretty sure we're finding some nice agates here. Again, I'll do a follow-up video when I get home. That's just some brecciated. Still cool, but I got buckets full of that at home, so we'll leave that one here. Wow, that's another really weird piece of basalt. Chinese writing, stone, and, huh, little green eyes in it, too. And we are not far, well, 
as the crows flies were not far from Isle Royal, which has the greenstone, and that might be a little bits and pieces of greenstone in this. This guy here. Putting that one in the pocket. Another nice little piece of carnelian. Nice picked up. That one's definitely going home. You know, we find inside those some really beautiful color. Not bad so far. Come out here before spring and you beat all the other people to it. But of course, Mother Nature all takes is one windy day and this lake will bring up tons more rocks every time there's a storm. What I have here. Hmm. That one. Ooh. And my wife really likes the Yukonite. Of course, now I won't zoom. Look at that beautiful piece. Yeah, that guy will go home. Those polish up so nice sometimes. That's unique. Definitely unique, and that's definitely translucent. Yeah, this green guy. They do get green agates around here. They're sort of rare. I don't know if this is one or not. It's got some translucency to it. Again, we'll look more when we're home. Almost a perfect quartzite ball. Almost looks like snow. So far, we're having a pretty good day. And of course, just as I go to turn my phone off, look what I come across. Another beauty. Damn, it's our lucky day today. And before I can even turn my phone off, ooh, that's nice too. Look at that guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we hit a little hot spot. Hopefully, we find more. Really beautiful piece here. First, I was leaning towards the chirp, but again, there's some translucency in it that tells me maybe not. And there's also some eyes and some color in that guy. I know my phone keeps trying to focus on my fingers here, folks. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that one will go in the pocket see what happens. And the wife just found a nice lightning stone. That one's definitely getting put in the cutter. That's a beauty. And then I found this little guy just a second ago. A lot of pink in that guy. It could be an agate in there. I hold it up to light and it's just translucent as all hell. Yeah, we'll see. Look at this crazy guy. All kinds of stuff going in on, on the outside of this. This is definitely a beauty. Look at those swirls. I'm hoping this is definitely one. This one's definitely going in the cutter. Hoping I know it's one just by the looks of it. Woohoo! Just found this guy. Looks rough, but definitely has a lot of potential in this one. Just some of the patterns on it. And there is definitely oops, some translucency on this guy. That's a beaut. That one will go in the pocket too. And then I just found this one. And camera doesn't do it justice, but that's almost fluorescent green on there. I'm not quite sure what that good stuff is. Just found this guy too. Couple of nice little finds today. A little bit of waterline on there. 
not overly spectacular, but an agate is an agate is an agate. There's a nice little guy. Don't know why my camera doesn't show the water lines up well on this, but that line right to the middle, as you can see. There we go. You can see a little bit of that water line in there. Little guy, but still nice. Another one for the pocket. Day's turning out a little bit better than I thought it would. I didn't uh, expect to find much. We only wanted to come here for a little bit, but go figure when you think that it's just going to be a quick stop. You find a whole bunch. And then you don't want to leave when you have to. Just found a really nice little specimen here. That's a pretty little guy. Not very big, but some beautiful lines on it. Why well, I feel like that one. Yeah, we're just sort of pushing this little patch of rocks around and Found a good dozen of them already, and they just keep seeming to show up, and we keep saying we got to leave, but the addiction is strong in this one. We just don't want to leave, especially when we're finding such good quality stuff. I just found this guy, quartzite, with a bunch of little copper veins in it. I'm always a fan of the copper stuff. And again, I know my camera just doesn't do it justice. Yeah, we'll pocket that guy and see what I can get out of it. Not looking at like the prettiest one I ever found, but I just like the copper ones. That's a fossil. Uh huh. That's a cool fossil. Start the back and then along the edges have a different color. Yep. This one's got me stumped. It's a brecciated something or other. White doesn't do it justice, but this guy is like got green. Green and then looks like quartz crystals in it. Don't know why my camera's doing what it's doing, but this is more green than it is the brown that shows. That thing is actually really, really, really cool. I know it's a brecciated of something, but I ain't never seen them green like that before. This one goes home to be played with too. I don't know if my camera's gonna do this one justice or not, but oh man, does it got wavy lines in it. Thinking this is a crazy lace. Another beaut. Trying to get a better view of this lace on this one. And again, I don't know why my green is turning up brown, but that is actually more green than it is brown. And there is some just lace in this guy. I'll be able to get better video once I get him home and do a follow-up on this guy, but that is one of the nicest ones we found today. And just after I pick up the beautiful wavy lace one i find a nice piece of carnelian again i'm trying to get this to go in the sun you can see the lines in her and i think you can see that a little hard for me to tell it's really sunny out but that's a beautiful carnelian and my wife's favorite is her euconite and that's a beautiful piece wowzers good day so far holy yeah. crap there's that really nice wavy and that's Oh, yeah, put it in a pocket or yeah, the top pocket in there. Do it. Yeah, that's carnelian. I'm gonna put it in and yippee pocket. skippy, I was just got a warning that I only have 15% battery left on my phone. So hopefully we'll get the rest of this video done. And yeah, we should be leaving soon anyway. But uh, we're going to look a little more yet. Okay, as usual, my camera goes dead halfway through the uh, video while we're on the beach, but I said I would do a follow-up, and we're going to do a little follow-up here. We found a lot of agates today and some other cool stuff. So I'm just going to go through it quick and show you the best and a few of the other cool things we found, and uh, we'll go from there. 
These are some of the best ones that I've got my hands on. I'll just, sorry, sped through that one a little bit. But I'll show each individual one also. Because there's some really nice stuff here. And then I still got to go through that damn pile. I got a lot of digging to do, but I'll worry about those later. I pulled some of the best out. And I'll give you a quick look-see. First of all, we got a nice little lace agate here. Little, it's a decent size one actually. As you can see, the lace inside there. I'm sure it's even more beautiful on the inside. I can't actually wait to cut this guy. She's got some beauty to her. That's a nice pink laker. Yeah, she's a beaut. Dump my next one here. This one the wifey found. Look at that. Just look at the colors on that guy. Swirl, that's some really crazy stuff there. And I haven't even got down to polishing this one yet or anything else. These are straight from the lake. And then our next one, I got a fine to dunk. This one here, I was digging deep and it popped up on me, but look at the fortification banding in that guy. I can't wait to take a saw to this one too. I know that probably goes all the way through it. But that is one beautiful carnelian egg. Okay, this guy, the wifey, found another beautiful egg, and I'm going to try and take this one up to the light so you can just see how translucent it truly is here. Sorry, this might be a little hard to do. I mean, that thing just glows. And can't wait to get that one to be cleaned up, too. I think that one's just going to be outstanding. Okay, the next one here, another beautiful little agate here, beautiful banding in it. That one I might actually just cab out. It's got some beauty to it that I think will really stand out on the cabochon machine. I don't think tumbling will do this one justice. Here's another little decent one. You can see the water lines in it. I think there might be more inside. It's got a little bit of basalt stuck to the bottom. That'll probably all grind off, but this one will end up going in the tumbler, and I think that might have some character in it when we uh, take that one out of the tumbler. And there's this little guy, sort of a wafer. Almost looks like some iron pack there, like an iron sandwich. That's got some nice pattern on the outside. I just don't think they're will be much left of it. it can't be cut that's for sure be nothing left of it but the tumbler might destroy it it might come out beautiful and then moving on to something a little bit else here we got a nice coral fossil here and down on the bottom that's translucent that little bit down there you can see the change in color I wouldn't be surprised if that isn't an agatized fossil. And unfortunately, there's a big crack there. I'm tempted to break that crack just to see if there's agate inside that, because that's right by the discoloration. Another nice little fossil. This guy, 99% sure she's an aggie. It's got a little window there. I can see something inside it. A lot of limonite on it, and as you can see, it's also got some fossils in it, too. You can see those fossil lines in there. But I am damn sure there's agate inside this guy. This one's going to get thrown in the cutter just to see what's inside her. Thinking about cutting her through there just to see what we got. Another cutter. But you can see some of the pattern in that guy already. Not too much on the outside. Could be a couple potential eyes there. You can see some of the waves right there. Yeah, I think this one's going to have some spectacular stuff on the inside too. 
we will find out oh yeah yeah there's some nice on that end there that's got a little bit of window to it I, yeah i do like the eyes this one's getting cut for sure a little deceiving but i'm pretty sure this one is too and there's this guy I'm thinking there's a little bit of moss in it um bit of salt on the back there but that looks quite mossy inside potential water lines in it that one I'm on the fence about, but I'm brought her home anyway because I think it is one. Then there's this beauty. She's a little guy, but the fortification lines in that are really, really, really nice. Sorry, move my phone there a little bit. But that would actually make a nice little earring setting or something. You can see it goes all the way through there. Not the biggest, but sometimes the small ones are just as nice. Then there's this guy with just a little window. You can see some of the water laying in it. This one's probably a cutter because there's a lot of holes in her. And a lot of pitting. And this one will go just be horrible in the polisher. And be getting so much grit stuck in all those gaps and cracks. Might cut it and just maybe... Find it out a little bit on the cab machine. Just to give it some uh, detail. See how that one turns out. This guy. At first we were thinking maybe an egg, but now I'm thinking this actually might be yellow jasper. It just, I, ain't, I haven't ever seen an egg of this color around here. And I know there is yellow jasper in the area to some extent. And not, it's not very common, but around and if it is the yellow jasper that's my first one here's a nice little moss agate i actually like that little guy it's got a lot of character to it this little guy ain't got much to it just that line across where it meets the basalt host an egg it all the same. This is one just tossing the tumbler and hope something nice comes out. Now this guy, I have no clue. I want to lean towards chert, but then there's some characteristics that just don't seem like it. Um, this one, I have to do a little more research on it. The reason I don't think it's chert is chert is this little line going through the top here is actually more translucent which you won't see in chert thinking there could be a little bit more egg inside that than i expected here's another guy with just a little bit of window on there you can see a faint bit of banding in it and i think that is the coolest part it's got its own damn little mouth on it that's definitely some fossil in that guy, which leans me away from chert because you generally don't find the fossil in the chert. Even though it sort of has a chert characteristics to it, she, I think this is actually an agate too, or a conglomerate of fossils, one of the two. Another little mossy agate. This one I actually sort of like, don't know why, most people wouldn't, it's, it's just something that I like on this guy again a little skin of basalt on that but she's a beaut and here's a little unique one too very similar to that first agate that I showed you the bigger one that looked lacy but what's odd about this is it looks like moss or brecciation on top and on bottom you get the agate skin here a band going through it that one I'm torn whether I should cut it cab it or uh, just throw it in the tumbler I have to think about that one for a while and then again there's just a few more that I really I know their agates are just not really worth showing but there is one more we'll look at this guy quick too there's one more surprise when we went on our walk that uh, I get to show you folks right now. And I'm not going to take credit for it. 
this beautiful lady right here is the one that found it and they aren't all that rare around here they're getting rare because the miners took it all but you still stumble it across it once in a while and folks our first ever beach silver nugget look at this The wife is like, what's this? And I was like, oh my gosh. So now we have our first silver nugget. And of course, a few of my videos back, it would have been last fall, I did a video where I found my first nice copper nugget. But this I was not expecting to find while we were egg hunting. We are in silver and copper country, but the silver was pretty much torn from the land, oh gosh, back in the 1800s. Still doesn't mean there ain't some floating around the lake that actually gets washed up on shore a little once in a while. Man, I would have never thought we would have just found a silver nugget. That is the find of the year so far, folks. Even though I am an agate fiend, the odds of finding a silver nugget are slim to none, especially when this size on the beach. But yep, that's her probably biggest find of the year, and by far, I think, together, one of our biggest finds of the year. And... Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. We also have some fun little dog videos and other stupid things that we do when we're out on the farm here. Have a good night and enjoy. Just got to the beach. There's the mouth of the Black River. This is our little bouncy bridge that we cross to get to our beach. And hopefully... Nobody will be here. Well, nobody is here. Hopefully we'll find some good agates. Um, let's see.